What is going on team? So I'm still on the iPhone right now, but we have just got home. Uh, started clients this morning at 9 a.m. and now it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. But big news, as you just saw in that little clip there, and you've, if you've been following my Snapchats, I managed to find the Ultra Monsters. So I actually bought the orange one and it was incredible. It tastes like uh, Fanta. I tried the white one and I was thoroughly disappointed. It tastes rubbish. And this red one, uh, I'm not gonna have another one today, so I'm just gonna have to save that for another day. But I just need to get some food in me real quick and then I'm off to train with Stanard again and we're gonna hit some legs. What are you doing? There you are. Look, so as you can see guys, the red one, the orange one and the white one. And now, and they've been, and they're you, he's excited too. They are, <laughs> they are now in the UK. Me head <laughs> Today we're starting off with five sets of five. Uh, I have not really, I've, talk, I've talked through workouts, but I've not really talked about my workouts. So I'll always start with a heavy set. And my philosophy behind this is just to attack your central nervous system as quick as possible. And basically, today we're going five sets of five. What this is gonna do is build your strength, a little bit of bodybuilding, but then you can take it over to bodybuilding. So if you're stronger, you can move a little bit less weight for more reps, and just to release loads of testosterone and growth hormone. And basically, just get you amped up for the rest of the session. Because I've done three sets, so now I'm on fourth, and um, I'm feeling like I can fly. Maybe it's a monster though, I don't know. What do you think, Stan? Yes, I'm buzzing. Buzzing on that beat, go. She don't think that I can change, so I switch from a bench to a range. How you feel when you get a five sets of five? Yes. At 85%. Buzz it. What is going on team? Craig Ritchie back with another commentary and as you can see on the screen right now I'm using a hook grip so the thumb is going under the second finger. Now the reason why I'm doing this with uh, the straight leg deadlifts is just because I forgot my wrist wraps. Now this hook grip and the way that it works is it does actually lock your thumb in place and enhance your grip by quite a lot. So if you go in heavy weight or high volume and you forgot your wrist wraps this is a great way to overload especially on say straight leg deadlifts, normal deadlifts or say something like a row. But as you can see, we did a superset of straight leg deadlifts into jumping lunges. Now this is just a hamstring and glute superset, but what we're doing in, is hitting the fast twitch muscle fibers through the heavy weight, and then we're overloading the fast twitch muscle fibers again through the plyometric moves. And this is just a great way to enhance your speed, to enhance your power, and to enhance your performance. Because yes, lifting heavy weights is great for like eight to 12 reps, but it doesn't really give you any muscular endurance at all and if you just want to be a bit more athletic then plyometrics is a great great way to do this we went we then went on to do some leg extensions straight into walking lunges and this was just a good superset for the quads it was absolutely killer but recently i have changed in a way that i am looking now not to be so much of a bodybuilder. Bodybuilding is always my number one, but to be athletic with it. So you'll see a lot more plyometrics within my training. You'll see a lot more CrossFit within my training. You'll see a lot more just general overall kind of fitness things other than bodybuilding on this channel, which will be coming up very soon. And it just comes from being in the park with the mates and realizing that I actually felt really, really heavy and really, really sluggish. And coming from a footballing background, I just, I, I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I used to be one of the quickest kids in my school, so I'm going to insert a clip here of me actually when I did uh, the 4x100 meter relay, and you can see me in the back leg. Shit! I think yellow looks good. I'm line. Sorry, Jen. Come on, move, 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 move. Yellow! 
That's crazy. And you know, actually, actually being in the park and feeling heavy with with the lads and feeling like I couldn't move properly has really just triggered something to be like, I need to up my game. I need to be athletic as well as aesthetic. So that's why I'm doing a lot of CrossFit training as well as a lot of plyometric training within my training at the moment, while still staying around the 90, 91 kilos and still putting on mass. So it's I'm just feeling good and in a good place right now. But I hope you enjoyed this little commentary. And guys, keep smashing it, keep killing it. And I love you, team. You are a flipping quality team. And I, I had two people come down that you'll see in the next video uh, yesterday. And the support has been crazy. People have been wanting to come down and train and I want all of you to come down and train like it would be incredible so just give it a thumbs up and do get in contact with me on Instagram uh, on snapchat on wherever and I've put them all down below all the links so I will talk to you guys in the next one this high volume is absolutely kicking my ass but uh, the burn feels good and I'm not gonna quit and it's just good to be back on YouTube it feels like ages I'm kicking my ass to prove to you guys that we can kill it and smash it and grow as a team. So, uh, ah, my God. Uh, when you, you ever had that feeling when you do, you do a machine and then you sit down and you like, say, bend your leg and your quad's so pumped it hurts. That's what it feels like right now, so I'm gonna stand up. Uh. Okay, so we just finished up. It's like, what time is it now? Uh, nearly five, no, six. Six? Nearly six. It's now 5.15 in afternoon. And it was a good session, you know, we finished off by going in the pool. Uh, my gym doesn't have a pool, so it's a nice little luxury. Uh, and it will hopefully help with DOMS, because the good way to get rid of DOMS is pool, which is compression, elevate your legs, so then it goes into your lymph glands in your, in your groin, and three, keep them moving. So, active recovery after leg day. <laughs> but now, we're going to mum's. We are. And we're gonna go eat food, no, I am. <laughs> He's not. But yeah, it was good, it was good to have Stan out back. Nice to be back, bro. Yeah, good to be back. Safe. Safe.